Do you know which real estate companies are in the top 1% of growth? The top 10 of those companies are growing at 5,927%. Astronomical, right? My name is Gene Hammett. I study hypergrowth. I study what makes these companies grow at such an epic level. Now, you may think it's about their marketing strategies or sales strategies, but based on what I understand, it's much more. Those are important, but it really comes down to the leadership and culture that are inside the organizations. I would love to share some of my research as well as actionable strategies and takeaways with your audience of real estate leaders that want to grow their business. In the next few seconds, you'll see some videos of me performing keynotes that won't bore your audience. You'll see why they're so exciting. I work with hypergrowth companies. A few of my clients made the list, and I thought, what are these other uh, CEOs doing? What are their leaderships doing? What, what could I learn from these other industries that, that are out there? Fantastic stuff. Two words came out of this, this research. We have conversations to get our employees to own it. We continuously have uh, those hard conversations. We listen, we, we get commitment, we get promises, and we understand that what does it take for us to create this? We've got to get them to own it. Own the results. Own the process. That's what makes employees amazing. This message is about going beyond responsibility to a place of real ownership and how leadership can activate that ownership. When I've been talking to the Inc. 5000, the leaders of those companies, they're growing on an average 2,700%. And the core message behind it is to get people to own it, own the results, own the process, and get them to really own the client experience. And that makes for a hyper growth company. I just, I talk to them about their sales and their marketing and their leadership and their culture. Really fascinating information. And it really was, um, got me excited about what I was uncovering. There was one question in there, though, that I thought was really powerful. With big growth goals, how do you get your employees motivated to take responsibility for those goals? It's a good question, right? How do you get them to take responsibility for those goals? After I talked with these leaders, it became clear. They corrected me in my thinking. It wasn't about responsibility. It was about ownership. Does anybody care about what people think about them? We have some smiles over here. Everyone's afraid to raise their hand because they're afraid of what people might think about them. <laughs> as practical and actual as my talks are, I still know that the audience needs some reinforcement of that. Would you like to dance? You might be wondering why I include dancing inside my keynotes. Dancing is a part of who I am, and it gives the audience a memorable experience. I share how learning to lead and learning to dance are very similar. They both require courage. What does it take to activate those, those leaders and the founders to be the choice? What does it take to activate the employees to be the choice? What does it take to move the business in, a, in, a, in a such a way that everyone sees from the outside that they're the choice for them? There's a big difference between the truth and your truth. And until you're ready to receive that and, and do the work, you won't be able to take the actions you want to take. You won't have that inspired vision. And you won't have the ability to really make an impact the way you want to.